All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Dan Sheridan, Sheridan Metric, and I'm going to talk about delta and gamma together. And delta and gamma will refer to the price risk of your trade. So let's go over three hopefully practical examples for you. Number one, here's an example of just buying a call. And you see here buying one June 19 320 call. We're just talking around nine dollars. And that's an apple. And if you look at the Greeks here, we're at 317.39. That's the delta 47. And that's the gamma 1.53. So let's focus on that. Think in terms of stock equivalent. So if we're at around three, for sake of discussion, 317 and you buy a call with a 47 delta, the price of that call is around nine bucks. So the question is, if we go up a dollar from let's say 317 to 318, what will the price of the option change by? And when you just take delta, delta, think in terms of stock equivalent. If you own 100 shares of stock, it goes up, you make $100. Think in terms of delta as stock equivalent especially for a small move. But if we have a 47 delta, we go up a dollar, make about 47 bucks. So if we have a, at 317, if we're at $9 and we go up to 318, what will this option go up to? The amount of your delta. So it'll go from nine to $9.47. It goes up by 47 bucks or so. So again, think in terms of delta as stock equivalent. Conversely, if we went to 316, it'd go down, if you're long a call, by 47 cents. So it would go to $8.53. So in conclusion, take delta, the delta number, add it to the price for a long call on the upside, subtract it on the downside, that's kind of what a position delta is. Think in terms of stock equivalent. You're used to thinking, hey, if I'm long 100 shares of stock, it goes up, I make 100 bucks. If I'm long 47 shares, same principle. Now let's throw in that concept of gamma. All gamma says, if we're starting out at 317, and we have an option of $9, of $9. Okay, when we go up to 318, when the stock goes up a dollar, all right, and your delta is 47. So does it just go every dollar? Or let's round that to 50. Let's say it's a delta of 50. Every dollar we go up, does it just go, okay, we just add 50, right? And it goes to 319, and we add 50. Well, what's the problem there? Delta staying the same at 50, right? As we go further up, more in the money, that delta will start going near 100, right? So, if we go back and talk about that again, if we have a delta, or if the price of the option is $9 at 317 in Apple, and we go up to 318, what will be the new price? If we have this bit of information, delta of 50, gamma, let's say is 1.5. Delta gamma of a long at the money call. So what will this price go to? The delta is 50, but the gamma says it tells you how much the delta will change for a one point move. 
So it's telling you, as we go from here to here, the delta will change by 1.5. So instead of just adding 50 to this, I would add 51.5. So I would get 9, basically like 51, 515 or something like that. And then if we go up another dollar, so it's saying your gamma is going to go up by 1.5. So the delta will increase for every dollar. So the first dollar up, right, your gamma is going to be 51.5. How did I get that? Add the gamma to the delta. And that tells you how much the price will change. For the next dollar, right, we're at 51 and a half. If we go up one and a half, we're going to get to 53. So now this doesn't go up by 50, it goes up by 53. So technically, you know, 9.515 plus 0.53, you'd get $10.04. Right, so every dollar, so now the delta started out at 50, and each dollar it picks up 1.5. So now if we go here to 320, if we go up a dollar, you don't just add 50 to this. The new delta would be, if it's at this point 53, now it'd be 54.5. You know, it, it slowly moves up. Your gamma will um, will move, and eventually, as you go higher and higher, uh, if we go, I'll just show you this here. If we go up, what you can notice here is we go up about a dollar in Apple. Your gamma is the same, right? It's still at that 1.5. Well, what if we go? What if we go up about $2? Gamma's the same. Okay? But eventually, you know, if we went up 2%, so that would be about a $6 move in Apple, or Apple if it went up, as we go further and further into the money, the gamma will decrease. Right, this is it at the beginning. So to make a long story short, as my Irish grandmother would say, gamma is just telling you how much the deltas will change for a $1 price move. And so delta, think in terms of stock equivalent. I think I'll leave you with that today instead of getting into spreads and stuff, but that will be a basics for you. Thank you.